take a look at layers again. Give a different example of that. On these layers, we have a baseball card here, right? I like this baseball card. One of my favorites of all time. I don't have it though. Or maybe I do, but not a really nice one. Anyway, so we have this baseball card, but as we can see, there are things on this baseball card. We can think of those as layers. There's dust on top of it. There's like this stain, like a coffee stain, but since it's a baseball card, an older one, it was probably used by a kid. So you might have had it outside and it got a little muddy maybe or something. Looks like somebody down here wrote in pencil or something. You're out! Probably a kid having fun with his new baseball card. So these are like layers. So layer of dirt and dust here. Then there's that stain. And then the pencil. It's kind of like layers on this card. Just built up one on top of the other. And you can see through them all. And get to the main card. And then even these other faded areas and stuff like that. You have a nice new card underneath all of that. But over time, all these things are just built up layers on top, on top of this card. Now if you put another card on top, you won't see through that. Your dirty card is on bottom, and you have a full card on top that you won't see through. Okay. So if this top card or your top layer is doesn't have any transparent areas, you won't see through to the card below it at all. Okay. So I hope that helps. All right, let's talk about a few other things on layers. If you want to duplicate a layer, you can do a right click and go up to duplicate. But another thing you can do is highlight whatever layer you want and you can click on duplicate the layer by selecting this image right here. At the same time, while it's whatever layer you want, you can delete it really quick by just doing a single click on that garbage can right there. And that'll delete the layer. Take. You have a selected layer, and you can move that up. Click here and move it up again. Click it, and each time it'll move up a layer. You can do the same going down, obviously. But at the same time, you can hold shift and click on one of the arrows. So right here, we're in the middle of, we're just below the top layer. But if we hit click on shift and click this one time, it went all the way down to the bottom. Just like if we press shift and click up arrow, it, it'll move that layer all the way to the top. Okay. Right here is an anchor. So let's do this. We'll grab what's this this tab right here or this little icon, click on that, and it opens up a dialog box for starting a new layer very quickly. And it defaults to the width and height 
of what your image is right now. And then it automatically sets itself to transparency even though you can select anything you want you can select the foreground color background color or for it to paint it white but it automatically defaults to transparency because it's assuming you're gonna wanna see through that layer the anchor when you have a floating section you'll need to anchor that to a new layer okay or to a layer it doesn't have to be a new layer but let's do this We will go here. First, we'll move this up to the top layer. Go with select on. So, here we have a floating selection. We paste it in, we copied this top Yankees part up here and then we pasted it in on our image and it's called a floating selection floating yeah you can move this image as long as you're within the selected area see these dancing lines when you're in that selected area you can see the cursor has the cross with the four arrows you go outside of that area, even though you're in the image area of, within that frame, you get this anchor. See the anchor there? That will anchor it to a layer, to the new layer. Okay? So as long as we're in our lines there, we can do a left click and drag this wherever we want on our image okay all right and when we click on our anchor it has now posted it on our layer that we selected Okay. Well, I think that's pretty much the basics on layers. I hope this was helpful. Oh, and it was in the basics on transparency too. Hope that was helpful also. Okay. Have a good day.